Well, many of us have to use the snow shovel and do things the old-fashioned way to clean what Mother Nature throws at us. The Ohio Department of Transportation uses the latest technology and equipment to keep our roadways safe by plowing and de-icing them. The garages where all the expensive salt spreaders and plows are kept are hustling and bustling with activity before, during, and after storms. Weather is the controlling factor that dictates how ODOT can get ahead of the storm and work efficiently to clean the roads, so they need to know what the forecast is. Um, we use Weather Underground, Weather Channel, National Weather Service, uh, local weather stations, and uh, we combine all those resources with some of the, the our weather folks in the central office in Columbus, and they uh, help predict a forecast for us. As you have been driving around the highway, you might have noticed that there's weather sensors every several miles on the side of the road, but something you might not have actually known there's actually weather sensors embedded inside the road so the Ohio Department of Transportation can get all the latest data of what's happening right on the roadway surface. In ground weather sensors, which is about a three inch by eight inch hole in the ground so that's flush with the roadway surface. And again, that can tell us the roadway surface temperature, which is what we're really looking at when we're treating the roads. It can also tell us um, if there's frost on the road and what temperature it is, if it's gonna be freezing. It can also tell us if it's wet, and it can also tell us if there's salt on the road. Tons of rock salt or calcium chloride is used to keep the road safe when Mother Nature throws a bunch of ice and snow at us, and that can cost a very pretty penny. The past two year average we used right around 100,000 tons in District 4. The prices of salt will vary from year to year. Um, this year our price per ton is about $37.13. Um, as a state, we from last year to this year saved $10 million in salt due to the warmer winter we had last year. Many people have commented on our social media pages every winter that it seems like there are not as many plows out for the smaller storms. But it may just all be about individual perception. I think it's really just perception. Um, our crews are here, it doesn't matter if it's an inch or eight inches. They're out there 12 hours a day plowing the roads. It's the same amount of crew. ODOT's District 4 continues to raise the bar with snow and ice removal with the implementation of the e-poke machine as you can see behind me. Now this is a very innovative machine as it can save about 30% of salt as it mixes brine and a salt solution into an oatmeal-like kind of texture as it's driving along. It can do this up to about 55 miles per hour where previous versions that spread any kind of brine had to be 30 miles per hour or less as it drove along the roadway. It can also direct the flow of the solution to one lane or several lanes at a time and because it's going to stick on the roadway and it's not like salt where it'll bounce around, this is very good for minimizing the amount of wasted salt that can bounce off the roadway and go into the median. You probably have noticed since last winter the addition of the flashing green strobe lights on the plows. Well, um, Ohio has the highest crash rate. Uh, with plows, uh, motors hitting the plow of our surrounding states, and uh, we need to in needed to increase safety for the motor and public with our plows. So we added these green strobe lights, and it's not just the green strobe lights; it's a combination of the green strobes, the amber strobes, and white strobes. With this combination, it will decrease that number of crashes and increase the visibility of the plow during a storm. Specifically, the green color is one of the most easily recognized color by the human eye, so it'll stand out more so than just the regular amber. Sometimes calcium chloride is used with or instead of sodium chloride, commonly known as rock salt. Here's why. About 30 degrees outside, one pound of rock salt will melt about 46 pounds of ice. And when the temperature is just 5 degrees colder at 25 degrees, one pound of rock salt only melts around 14 pounds of ice. This means that we need a little help from our friend, calcium chloride. We mix it with the salt in either one of two forms, either in a liquid or a flake form. And um, the calcium chloride keeps the salt effective up to a minus 60 degree temperature. So basically it's one of those things in our arsenal to keep the effectiveness of the salt up when the temperature gets really cold. Before the storm arrives, salt brine is put down onto the roads to create a coating that makes it hard for the ice and snow to bond with the roadway surface. Brine is made by taking rock salt from the storage bin and mixing it with water in the hopper. A computer system manages this process to get the ratio of water to salt at 23%. The solution is stored in tanks until it gets pumped into a truck and sprayed on the roadways.
ODOT reminds us, ice and snow, take it slow. Give yourself plenty of time to travel to your destination so that you can get there safely. Also remember, don't crowd the plow so that they can do their job. This has been Brian Ivey reporting for NeoWeather.com.